Facebook is downgrading uh, posts from publishers and posts from advertisers in favor of posts from friends and family, in a nutshell. Uh, what that means is you're going to be seeing a lot more posts that have something to do with person-to-person -person communication. Uh, so things like comments on pictures, personal videos, those things go to the top of the news feed, whereas things from publishers, such as news articles, um, uh, advertisers, uh, branded posts, those are going to go to the bottom of the news feed. This has to do with the election, how they sort of shaped the narrative and how um, bad actors could buy their way into shaping public opinion just by using Facebook's platform to get their message out there by paying for it. Um, so this is in response to that. And I think it's also in broader response to um, criticism of social media in general, which is that it's kind of making us these anti-social creatures that are sort of becoming even more tribal than we are by st staying within, defining ourselves by the, the media that we consume. And this is a way for Facebook to get back to its roots of truly being a social platform. Most regular users like you and me aren't going to notice a huge change in their news feeds. Um, I think over time, though, it really does depend on the kind of user that you are. If you are the type of user that is going to be posting mostly articles and not really using Facebook for communication, um, I suspect nothing much is going to change for you. But I think everybody else, um, they'll say maybe a 5% increase in, in more social interactions. And by the way, there's nothing to prevent people from getting interactions on you know politically charged posts or, or, or articles that they share and then just get a, get a ton of comments. Those things are still going to go to the top of the newsfeed. So a lot of this stuff is mostly cosmetic, but it's a step in the right direction.